Hello everybody, I am the fucking bear and we are back in a new location. Did you skip the last video? You probably skipped the last video because you're intelligent. You're intelligent. So you skipped it like a smart person. I Usually when these big ones just... Oh, freeze bolt. Well, that's different. I was going to say, usually when the big ones just have, like, a ammo in it, that's where you would have gotten that weapon if you didn't, like, find it earlier in the early place that you could find it. Like, how I was able... I'm, I'm assuming if I hadn't d went through the little sub-quest to repair the sniper rifle, I probably would have found one eventually. That's usually how these things work. So, for those who skipped it, and for those who watched it and still know what the fuck's going on, I'll just give you a summation. I went, um... It started, the video started, and I was back in the cabin. So that's like the first 15 minutes right there. That's like the first 15 minutes of me trying to get out of that cabin again. Because it saved, it didn't save after I got out of the cabin. <laughs> and um, then we went through the woods, and she's so strong. This girl's strong. I like it. Um, and then... Uh, there was a guy with a flamethrower. Alright. Alright. And a funnel on his face. For some reason. I don't understand that part. But he had a flamethrower. And there was a bunch of those fire dudes. And I stealthed my way through all of them. And then got caught by like one of them. And then the bitch talked as if I was just Mr. Rambo. Um, and then we found out that Myra joined STEM to like do stuff. Because she knew that the kid was alive, even though Dick McGee here wouldn't listen to his fucking wife. Um, but something's happened to her. And we learned that Father Theodore ain't a father at all. He's just a dude. He's just a dude that's... He's apparently always been a dick. So, and then there was the conversations. I'll go ahead and let these replay. Hey. Yeah. Slowly let turn. Let me ask you a few more questions. Slowly turn. All right. You said Myra was supposed to stay behind and take care of Mobius. How? By using STEM against them. Everyone in Mobius has a brain chip implanted in them that allows them to enter STEM without being affected by it. The chip allows them access and benefits that normal citizens don't yeah. have. And you let them put those things inside you? Not like we were given much of a choice. Myra was supposed to send a signal back through STEM that would neutralize every member of Mobius via their brain chip. Basically like a mass remote control lobotomy. That's one way to solve the problem, I guess. If we don't do it, Mobius will just put Lily back in STEM and kill all of us for mutiny. It's the only way. I can't believe Kidman's behind all of this. She sent me into Beacon. She stood by while Lily was put into STEM. It doesn't seem like her to betray them. You're an outsider, Sebastian. You don't know what Kidman is really like. She had to keep her true self secret all this time so that she could get close enough to strike. But why now? Why not when they were building the new STEM? We need STEM to send the signal to take Mobius down. When Lily was chosen as the core, Myra and Kidman decided it was time to put everything into effect. The way things are going now, this could be our only chance to pull this off. So how did Theodore Wallace get mixed up in this? It was Theodore's idea of sending <clears throat> the signal through STEM. Now that I think about it, he probably just wanted to take over Mobius for himself. Damn it. I knew he wasn't trustworthy. That guy's slippery like a snake. But that's his game. He can convince people of anything. He convinced us that he was here to help us. Yeah. I've known people like that. Back of my head looks like a they frog. Seem like they're your best friend. It's like a frog's Until neck. Stab you in the back. I got a fat neck. Look, look at my fat neck. My fat neck. One minute I was in a tidal wave of blood in Theodore's hellhole. The next thing I know, I'm in that house with you. I still don't understand how you found me. I'm so itchy! I was scouting the area around my safe house for supplies when I heard a girl's voice coming from that abandoned house. I went to investigate. No girl, but you were there. Almost like I was led to you. A girl's voice? It had to be Lily. But how? There's no telling how or why things happen in here. Stem was already unpredictable before she escaped. But now, Ugh. I stopped trying to make sense of things a long time ago. Uh, it was pretty much the same here. Okay. Alright. Alright, we're good. 
<laughs> Just gonna continue playing the video game. Oh, at least that's gone. Hey, my shooting range is back. Let's go do the shooting range. Fuck this. Alright. I have not managed to get that one. And... Oh, that's why I hadn't done the shooting range. Because I've pretty much gotten all the really high-value high uh, rewards that I wanted. I mean, later I might um, do it to get some more crafting stuff, but eh. All right. Okay. Okay, we want ammo capacity on this because that was becoming a bit of a problem. All right. And then I guess more firepower. I'll save up for it then. And I know I've gotten myself a lot of goop. And I gotta talk to the lady anyway. She's always got shit to say. You just can't stay away from me, can you? No, no, you're lovely. Bye. Oh yeah, I got I got a key. I got a key earlier. All right. You're back. New knowledge requires new abilities for the challenges ahead. Yeah. If you knew something I didn't, you could have just told me and saved me the headache. If only I could. But this is a journey you must take alone. But I'm not alone. I found others to help me. Taurus, Hoffman, O'Neill. They are there to accompany you. But the discovery yeah. is yours alone to make. Oh. Discovery. And self-discovery. That's what makes STEM so... Self-discovery. Intriguing. Yeah. I'm very good at self-discovery. I discover myself at least twice a day. So. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, let's, um... Yeah, we're gonna buy that. And I wonder, okay, I'm going to get that because maybe if I kick, because I'm, I'm just thinking, what if the kick, um, probably doesn't, chances are it doesn't, but what if the kick like knocks them down and then that gives me a chance for a, um, a stomp? That's a thought. It's a possibility. We're going to... Anything? No. I haven't found one of those in a while. Anyway, let's go get some info on Mr. Dude. Oh, hello. Okay, where's the info on Mr. Dude? Alright, here we go. The bastard smooth talked himself right into the middle of the plan. I've had serious he's conversations with Myra. I'm sympathetic man. to your cause, Hand but I think should have been a dead giveaway that he's a psycho. Mm -hmm. Jesus. This looks like it was written by the Zodiac killer. I'm I'm trying to read. But I think that further steps can be taken to solve your problem in more final terms. Meet us tonight, ten outside of Crimson City Renaissance Theater. And make sure no one is following you. Spiritual leader and motivational speaker. No wonder he was able to convince everyone he was on their side. He seemed like a good guy on the surface. Okay. He looks. Hold on. Can I? Can I? Please find whatever. He looks like, um, you ever seen The Nutty Professor? And you know how he played, like, all the roles, which seems to be everything he's ever done? Um, I don't know why he became, Eddie Murphy became so obsessed with playing every single role in every movie he did, but, I don't know. Uh... His the, the 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 old one the the grandfather. That's what he looks like. 
I'm not joking. Preying on the lost and hopeless by pretending to have the keys to happiness. Now I'm beginning to understand his MO. Uh huh. Hmm. This gives me some hope. Seems like he couldn't fool everybody after all. Still need to be cautious. He convinced a lot of people straight into STEM. Okay. Well, shit. I guess, um, do I have any other outfits unlocked? Because what's weird is it said, it mentioned, let's go Drifter for a while. All right, let's go Drifter for a little, for, for a little while. Um, he said, all right, that, uh, um, not he, what am I fucking doing with my fucking mouth? Um, the when I first clicked on that thing to um do the uh, outfits, it said something about unlocking some, like as you unlock them or something. Am I gonna like unlock other ones or something? I don't know. Oh, I've missed one. Hmm. Hey, Kidman. I was thinking about our first case together. You mean back at KCPD? That pawn shop robbery? You broke that case all on your own. I was impressed. That was all thanks to you. You took me under your wing and showed me the ropes. Treated me like an equal. Wish I had a mentor like you when I was younger. I wanted to help you become one of the best. But the whole time you were really working for them. Someone wanted me in there to keep an eye on you. To make sure KCPD weren't us. Too bad. You could have been a great cop. I'm not so sure about that. The personnel report you read when I joined KCPD was falsified. I spent most of my youth in juvenile detention. By the time Mobius found me, it was either join them or rot in jail. Not a hard choice to make for someone just out of their teens. I don't even know you, do I? I've been in Mobius for so long. I'm not sure if I know myself half the time. Something tells me the rebel in you is never too far behind. Okay, okay. Give me some juicy, juicy. All right, let's save our game. Why the fuck not? I need to keep an eye up there on the um action preview things of like the countdown because what happened was I looked up that video is like 50 minutes long um the one you all skipped because you don't want to see my ugly face uh and <laughs> I looked up and it said like 23 minutes and like I was able to um recover the first 20 minutes of the recording in audio format just like the audio of it and I was going to splice that in with the face cam, but the problem was the first 20 minutes wasn't anything interesting. The first 20 minutes was just me desperately trying to get out of the fucking cabin again. So, uh... All right. Let's go to the facilities. Let's hope the marrow is still there. The marrow, 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 Well, why we got the 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 thing popping up and telling me that danger's happening to me? I mean, did was it really? Okay, probably used to craft a uh, freezy bolts. All right, there's bad guys nearby. That thing's telling me so. Ah. 
two, six, one, one. Okay. Wait, but that was two. Oh, so just, just, just all of them. Just all of them. Greatest puzzle ever! Shit. Looks like Theodore's been here. Maybe that's why I couldn't contact O'Neill. Hoffman's safe house is nearby. I should check up on I was just fucking. Don't tell me anything happened to Hoffman. She was a she was an adorable Japanese lady. Don't you don't you don't let things happen to the Japanese ladies. Japanese guys named Joseph, you do whatever the fuck you want to them. I don't give a shit. Fuck Joseph. But And her name's Yukiko! Come on. Don't do that. Oh, you missed an opportunity for a scare. Because, like, his arm was in the way of where the head would be, and it should have been, like, once I pulled... Oh, hello. Once I pulled that away, um, there should have been a head. Like, don't even do anything. Like, don't have it jump up and grab me. Just, there's a head all of a sudden. I love when games do that, where they do something to put you, like, on guard, but then nothing comes of it. Like, there's no, like, big payoff jump scare. It's just, you're just fucking scared now. Wait a minute. What happened to the... What game... What happened to the, um... The, 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 the things on my radar that was blinking? Hoffman, you here? Another one of these. What happened here? Dig nibbit. O'Neill left his safe house to go to a restricted area of the marrow. That doesn't sound like him. Yeah, he kind of a pussy. Oh, is that thing on my radar just telling me where there's a dude nearby? I thought it was for enemies. I ain't played the game in a while. Leave me alone. Shut up. I just saw you at the last second there, lady. How does a person suck this bad? I would like to know, just maybe. Jesus. Good. We're, we're peachy. My eyebrows itchy. <sighs> Why aren't 
they're more open world horror games. Like the my favorite parts of these games is like the roaming around parts. Which I mean, don't get me wrong, I enjoy like the the I, I do enjoy like the the hand and foot. Looks like they had extra security for this place. Um, I do enjoy like the you know more finely crafted kind of you know sections, but. Security pro. Due to sensitive nature of experiments being conducted, laboratory is only accessible by Mobius active operatives with proper Unity Cerebral Trip designation. Please observe all security protocols when entering the laboratory and be aware that your clearance level also binds you to top secret non disclosure attendants that is outlined in the list of the contract. Any operative attempting to access the laboratory without proper clearance will be subject to corporal punishment as outlined in the Mobius security bylaws. All right. Well, um, okay. Oh, cool. I don't really need to go back right now, but... Actually... You know, I'll save that, um... I'm not gonna go back just to do that, uh... Ooh. Just to do the, um... Uh... Uh, sl photo slide thing that I found. I'm not going to go back just for that. I'll just do that next time I'm there for another reason. But anyway, what was I even saying? All these tanks. What's this I feel about? like I was saying something. Oh yeah, I, I do like the, you know, kind of finely crafted creep moments. But like, like certain segments of like Alan Wake when you're kind of roaming and like I don't know, there's just not a lot of... Like, back in the day, there was a decent amount. Like, you know, the Silent Hills and stuff were pretty open. Um, and it's just... Game, horror games just don't seem to want to do that anymore. Like, and don't even start telling me something like uh, Outlast is open, because it's not. Um, just because you end up traversing a good portion of the facility during the course of the game, it's still linear. Um... Yeah, but like this, like where the, these parts were like, um, it's like kind of open. You have objectives and side quests and stuff. I don't know why more horror games don't do that. Maybe it's, maybe it's difficult to maintain the fear level in an open world environment. That's a possibility. And it is true that, um, the more open it is, there is a bit of fear lost in the, the, uh, fact that you can just sort of run away. But still. What were they doing in this lab? And why did Liam want me to meet him here? I think there's something over here. Alright, so just excuse me for a moment. Cool. Can't pass through without one of those chips. Gotta be one around here somewhere. Regret everything. Are these Union citizens? What was Mobius doing with them? Oh, making citizens stew. Oh, do I want to be going down here? I don't think I do. Okay, red means bad, right? Red is when there's enemies. Or is it still just items? Looks like it goes down forever. Yep. Yeah, it would have been nice if you had done that in an angle where I could actually see. Whatever. It's lonely in here and creepy, dumping these bodies, these things into this pit, and they just keep coming. How did I end up with this detail? 
been hearing things, voices coming from the pit, but that can't be. But if they aren't coming from the pit and they're in my head, that's even worse. Oral hallucinations is one of the symptoms. Uh, but I can't be infected. It's not a virus or bacteria. It's a mental thing that only affects citizens whose memories have been rewritten. At least that's what they've told me. Shit, I gotta keep it together. It's just loneliness that makes me think like this. Loneliness and being around those freaky corpses is not the phenomenon. Oh no, it's coming. I gotta get out of here. Well, they're not really a path, like, you know? Where even is... Why is it turning red at parts? do thing okay is there like a tutorial somewhere because I'm trying to remember um no yeah when you ever you unlock a new outfit but all, all four were unlocked from the get-go um I don't know. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that the heartbeat thing is for enemies or just telling me where there's items. Because every time I've seen it so far, it's just been an item. So I don't know. Hey, let's get. Let's just go. Fuck, there's not a... Shit. Ah! Okay, I'll, I'll, we'll try it the other way then. anything up here like is there anything over there it doesn't look like it so I'm just gonna go <laughs> oh there's other stairs over here for some reason no there's nothing up here Turn around. See what's over there. Ah, how? 
does it be? I don't. I don't agree with you, lady. I don't. I don't agree. I, I vehemently disagree with your uh, assessment. Ah, shit. Now. Now. Okay. That's all right. That's perfectly fine. Shit. Don't. Top path paper has been torn off. Be kept on duty and observe the information gained from this experience. In STEM can be a valuable organization. It has been posited in STEM immersion can have long lasting residual effects. Detect Cox Land of Death it is unique that he has entered and left STEM without standard preparation or memory override. We can learn a lot from, about the mental repercussions of STEM use simply by letting him go about his business while we observe him from a distance. I will continue to track mental state via mandated therapy sessions and so we'll be reporting any findings. All right. were using me as their guinea pig long-lasting residual effects they knew stem would scar me like this okay well shit uh oh Jim here, just a quick note to give you an update on the Castellanos Beacon situation. We're sending Sebastian in for mandatory counseling. The Beacon incident needs to be kept under wraps for the good. And the good detectives are only loose end. We have many operatives in the KCPD, but not enough to ensure total information blackout. I swear, this game just changes the controls randomly. There's been times where W and S scrolls. There's been times where up and down scrolls. Now it's page up and page down. Sometimes I can do it with the scroll wheel. Literally, literally 10 seconds ago in that other note, I used the scroll wheel. Now the scroll wheel ain't working. <laughs> Whatever. Unfortunately, our staff psychologist is on the organization payroll. Once we determine how much Castellanos knows, we can easily instill self-doubt through his sessions. When we're through with him, Sebastian won't be sure if what he witnessed the beacon was real. Uh, not that he needs much help. He's been stumbling through his assignments like a zombie. Poor son of a bitch is obviously having trouble dealing with whatever happened to him in there. I almost feel bad for him. I've known the guy for over a decade. It's like he's a different person now. But that's the price of progress. If you want to make an omelet, you got to break an egg or two. James Van Kirk. I'm, I'm an egg. Hey, was right. They are everywhere. They were right under my nose the entire time. A way out? A way out? Ah! What the? No! No! Ruvik! Go away! I don't want your shit, Ruvik! Blah, 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 blah. Nah, nah. Is 
this? Can't move on. Can't move. The source of my pain is me. The part of me still stuck in stem. Never getting out. No. I'm wrong. I will get out, but without you. I'm not sure that was healthy. What um. was that? It felt different than the others. More real. Like something changed. I think you just gave yourself a lobotomy is what I think. Good. Oh, you, you, you generally feel good after a lobotomy, I suppose. My trusty revolver seen you in a long time Wait, how did I get uh, hold up I mean, I don't, I would like to point out that I'm pretty sure revolvers don't use the same ammunition as a 9mm handgun, but who am I to complain? Who am I to complain? <laughs> All right. Now we gotta get clearance to get through that door. Who's glip glopping? Oh, hey, how you doing? Oh yeah, and there was a point I was trying to make back in the original. I think during the uh, recording that got fucked. Um, but both because I didn't really fully make my point. That, that's what I tend to do. That's why I do that thing where I just kind of walk in circles. David says it's funny, but I know that's not really what you're supposed to do when you're doing Let's Plays, but if I don't do that, I get distracted. Um. But both because I didn't fully make my point and also just in case, you know, people went ahead and decided to skip that video. Um. I was making a point of why do the bad guys are the only ones that have powers? Like, um, is that like a conscious decision by Mobius that they give them more control? I know that uh, little Happy Feet in the first game was like, like, kind of weird, had like, had issues, um, and that was what allowed him. But I'm pretty sure Stefano and um, the father and all that shit. Ah, shit. Um, aren't all that special, yet they have control. And I'm just curious, why, has, why hasn't it at least crossed Sebastian's mind to think, what if maybe I could exert some control here? This seems like that'd be possible. Okay, we're just going to ignore you. this point has been long. How could it be? Ooh, thank you. Phenomenon has been more prevalent. 
We have dedicated the entire laboratory wing of the marrow to studying it. Citizen transformation has become quick, violent, and even more obscene. They are mutating into forms that can't even be considered humanoid. They have lost any semblance of humanity altogether. We have dubbed these affected citizens the lost. We have determined that the last phase before metamorphosis involves the belief that they are being pursued by some invisible but inescapable force. Once they have succumbed to this force, the transformation begins. Um, oh, my ass. Oh, my ass. STEM is an artificial construct. There are no viruses, bacteria, or contagion here. Lost phenomenon is therefore a mental process. We are still in the dark as to how it spreads and to whom it will spread next. Perhaps the trigger was present in the subject before they even enter STEM. Further research is needed. Alright. Now, where's the, res the resonance point that you've logged? All is lost. All, all is lost. Uh -oh. Oh, that's that's definitely one that I've been wanting. Thank you. Ooh. Gunpata. Always lock the gun pata. Okay, okay. That worked out somewhat decently. Could have gone better, but then again, so could much of what I do. Oh, this seems like a place I want to be. Is there any significance to the ones that are illuminated? What do we have here? Oh, awesome. Yeah, that's ducky. Our sphere has been realized, lost phenomena has spread to Mobius Optus. We have theorized that the transformations were a result of memory override, but no operatives have been overwritten. 
We were able to quarantine, terminate the effect of Mobius operatives before he could transform. Perhaps his exposures to so many lost corpses in the pit made him susceptible to what... Oh, that's the guy that was here and shit. Um, perhaps it's merely coincidence. We're harvesting his Unity cerebral trip and chip, 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 and hopes that it will provide new data. Removal of intact cerebral chips possible with extraction device. It is a relatively simple and automated process. Merely place subject on the gurney and enter the extraction device's activation code. Oh. One, two, three. They haven't eight. removed this guy's chip yet. I can use it to get through that door and find Hoffman. All right. Go for it. Oh, one, two, eight. How do I? How do I? Okay. Let's see what happens. I mean, was it necessary to see what happens? Like, to physically see what happens? Mm, grody. So you need an activation code in order to drill into someone's head. God, he's already dead. Like I could have, like literally, just went and got a power drill lab. and done that. And there's like four other drills that didn't do anything. Fucking cats. Oh God. Well, someone's just skittered away. He busted down the door. Oh, are they all downstairs? I think they're all downstairs. Yeah. Wonderful. Ah! Oh God, no. No, 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 no. That's the last thing I wanted in my life! That was the last thing I wanted in my life! Let's just go through here. Nothing can hurt me in here. They, they can't crawl. I don't think. And at two stinky at two Stinkatron Stinkosaurus Rex Come on. Come on, turn around. I need to get a double in on you.
Okay. Okay. I was I know I was right at the exit, but if I kill all these people, especially stealth killing them, that's a that's a pretty big net profit when it comes to my goodies. Okay. Can you, can you can you get up and turn around, please, and run? He wouldn't. He wouldn't get up. He just. He just wouldn't get up. Oh Jesus Christ! Hey, I might as well get a hit in on you while you're here. I think you're just like the uh, twitchy bitch where it's a double. I've upgraded my melee damage, I would just like to point out. Shouldn't that, like, count as double damage and kill you? I just love exploiting bad AI. Exploiting bad AI. I know I still got a twitchy bitch back there to kill. Finish off, anyway. Alright. Oh. Stem integration irregularities. We have begun to absorb new and unexpected side effects of stem integration in certain unique citizens. The symptoms began simply enough. A small mental break triggered by vestigial memory overlaps. Affected citizens begin to experience their old memories, which leaves them in a state of fusion. Rewriting their memories again is only a stopgap measure. Their new union designations serve only to confuse them further. Soon, these small breaks develop into complete dissociation. And eventually, total physical metamorphosis. These phenomena are currently affecting only 0.005% of the populace, but it's troubling nevertheless. Much is learned after the beginning incident, but STEM is still experimental technology. We are isolating our studies while we continue to expand the union. It is imperative that we stop this before it escalates. All right. Okay, this is where I originally came from. Yeah, that's where I came from at the beginning. <clears throat> All right. Um, that is a good time to end the episode. That'll do it. Uh, just to make it less um annoying and boring to watch, I'll start the next one once I clear this place out. It ain't worth watching. Thank y'all for watching. Bye bye.